everyone. Uh, my name is Hawa Tijani. I'm a child protection and emergency coordinator from Plan International Sudan. I'm very pleased to share with you my presentation. Uh, also to brief you about Plan International Sudan. Plan International in Sudan, it's operating in five operation area, including the country office. We're providing support for the IDPs and refugees in an area of uh, in emergency. Uh, in an area of the child protection in emergency, we are focusing to provide case management services, including FTR and internative care. Also, we are working to provide psychosocial support, distance psychosocial support or mobile psychosocial support and individual psychosocial support. And also we are working to strengthen the role of the community-based mechanism and strengthening the child protection system in Sudan. Also, we are working in a coordination uh, with the different actors working in the field of the child protection in emergency. Uh, today, I will share with all of you our experience uh, in responding to COVID-19. So the COVID-19 is starting in Sudan in March. Uh, in March, uh, we are starting uh, with the curfew, and uh, in the mid of April, the government uh, shift to the total lockdown. During this time, we implemented different activities, uh, uh, different activities with the community-based member, focusing in the community engagement, and even uh, we building their capacities and skills on how to respond to the COVID-19 and how to ensure that our children are protected from the COVID-19. So one of the outcome of the activities that we implemented uh, with them, it's a uh, uh, community is very uh, creative awareness raising campaign. And this is campaign, it's initiated by the community themselves. So during that time to ensure that we apply the social distance and also we apply remote programming, the community-based committee agreed that to have like new way or using the technology in uh, developing uh, messages and sending messages for the whole community. So the community-based member nominated two person from each community and uh, the two person was responsible to supporting them to develop messages and then they shared the messages with us and even uh, we had a very long consultation and very long discussion on how to use the technology in order to reach the whole community's member. And then uh, we agreed or we come up, or we come up with the idea that to use a memory stick uh, with a megaphone and with a loudspeaker. And then uh, the community based nominated two person in order to record the, me the messages in the simplified language. So the two person, uh, they record the messages in a simplified uh, language. Also, they're using the South Sudanese language or we, uh, we call that in Sudan, Arabi Juba. So during that time also, the children, uh, they come up with a different idea to share their ideas and to share their messages with, with their peer. So uh, we're supporting them by providing them uh, loudspeaker and megaphone and then we're supporting them also in the process of recording the messages and then we put uh, the loudspeaker in the mic uh, we put uh, the memory stick in the loudspeaker also we put it that in the megaphone also we share the, uh, the memory stick with the mosques and charge in order to play that during that uh, during the praying time uh, in the mosque and in the charge and then the children, they come up with the idea that to develop like child-friendly video and they develop five child-friendly video and they post it that uh, on a TV and in the social media, also in the radio. In order to ensure that we are not leaving anyone behind, uh, we're targeting the elderly in the community, those they don't have uh, access to the internet and they don't have access to the power we share the messages through the radio because on those community the elderly are more connected with the radio and even they trust the radio in the information that they're receiving and also 
during uh, in the mid of April, so the government shifting uh, to total lockdown, and even uh, we receive different messages from the youth and children in the communities that we are working with. So uh, they saying that the lockdown time it's very boring for them, and they need us to supporting them. So we come up with the idea that uh, to develop like a competition. And even the competition, it be like a platform for a children and youth to explain their opinion and their understanding about the COVID-19 and how they will ensure that they are protected and even their family are protected from the COVID-19. So even the children, they develop a poster in a child-friendly language and even the poster is posted in different area the poster is, uh, is posted in different areas in the street in order to give or to share the messages with those who are living in the street. So in a conclusion, I would say that the community managed to spread the awareness raising using low cost and even using low technology method because they, they understand better than us and what were the best way to do this. So in brief, this is my presentation and thank you very much for your time.